Hello fellow dreamers and welcome to the channel. My name is Nikita Antoine and today we'll be doing a message for the sign of Orion. So this is something new that I'm adding to the channel that I've kind of come into discovery on myself. And Orion, today your message is looking like the different, actually like the different stages of being a warrior, if you will. And so it, I, I've been doing your reading and I was like, okay, yeah, there's Orion. That's where they're playing out in the story. And then suddenly I'm starting to realize that, wait, oh no, hang on a second. That other character is Orion as well. So what it's presenting is as a story where, where you are all of the characters in this warrior-esque type of story. So it's looking as if you embody all of the different stages or phases of being a warrior. So um, as always, all of these messages, they are timeless. So whenever the message finds you and resonates, it is of course yours at the time in which you find it. And Orion, at the bottom of your deck today, we have, we have the Eight of Wands that's showing up here. Sorry, the cards are a little little washed out me if I hold them in a different way. Okay, so we have the eight of wands that's showing up here as your underlying energy. And this is coming through actually as a message that you have for others, other people, for not even necessarily other people. It's like for an entire civilization is what's coming through. So your, with your underlying energy being of this eight of wands, it's like there's a message that wants to quickly get to all of those who are civilized. That's fascinating. Civilized um, because it's supposed to be foretelling of an event that will be coming in, in the future. So whatever that may be, it it's definitely has something to do, of course, with these different phases of being a warrior. So perhaps there is kind of like an intrinsic understanding that you're wanting to bring to the humanity, the civilization of humans, if you will, um, that's essentially telling them that if they are a warrior, if they're embodying that energy of Orion, of the warrior... It's like they're going to be embodying all of these different types of aspects. So uh, this warrior, if you will, isn't just one aspect. It's like you'll have to move through all of these different stages, if you will, to um, in a sense, kind of actually like <laughs> what I'm seeing is like being like being knighted, like being knighted as as a warrior, as a knight, as 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 a someone who holds that Orion energy. It's like you have to pass through all of those energies. So you're coming through with a message for all of civilization. That's that's pretty intense. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the Ruji energy to see where that supportive element is taking us. <clears throat> and it's taking us to the silence. So this is coming through actually as like, um, what do you call that? A code? It's coming through as like a code, a code of honor, but it's something that is not necessarily spoken aloud to everyone. So now this, now this message here that is being delivered is starting to come through as like, this is not a message for the entire collective. It's a message specifically for those who are embodying this energy, for those who are presenting as, as the warrior, as the Orion. Um, <clears throat> and what it's telling us is that there's actually like this code, there's some type of code, it's like almost like a code of honor, if you will, that is, presenting itself as like a, not a, it's not necessarily a secret. It's just something that is not readily shared amongst the entire collective. So with the silence that's showing up here, it's as if those who are 
those who are maybe perhaps not embodying this warrior energy would be shocked to find out that this is actually the truth of what being a warrior actually entails. So it's like I kind of am starting to feel like maybe the collective in general would see a knight or someone who is in that honorable position, if you will, as something that is incredibly glorious, but there's actually a lot of intricacies to being, I don't know, I don't even know, Orion, Orion, I don't know, um, that it's, it's not readily, it's not readily known. All right. So let's look at the overall energy for you, Orion. I'm seeing the number 13. And I'm thinking of like the 13th warrior, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's actually a movie. I don't know, maybe that might help help play into your understanding of Orion. It's, it's a movie. It's called The 13th Warrior. So, okay. Overall energy for you today is this Knight of Wands. Okay, so it's like Orion itself is stepping forward with this message. With this message. It's incredibly fast. It's very uh, potent. It's very potent. It's powerful. It's very powerful and potent. You can see how, you know, this horse here has this baton. There's like the energy is rushing through, surprising everyone. And then, and then this message is being given. So the overall energy of this Knight of Wands here for you today, Orion, is that you are, you are offering up this... It's actually looking, this wand here the other day, and I can't remember exactly which reading it, it was, but it was talking about a scroll. So you're, like, there's a scroll that's being opened up. So a, a new, like, decree? Is that what this is talking about? It's like a brand new decree of what actually entails like this warrior spirit, very fascinating. So that's what Orion here, the overall energy is bringing to us as a collective. And there are some within this collective, within the collective as a whole, that are presenting as this warrior energy. And it's like this message, if you will, is for that select, is for that select group. So, if you're not that select group, it's as if perhaps maybe this reading, I mean, of course, still watch it anyways, why not? Um, it might not resonate with you in this type of way, it, but it's it's almost as if this is like a decree or a standard or a code, that's what it is. It's like it's a new, it's like a new code of honor. Very fascinating. So, of course, this is a, a general message for Orion. But if you would like to get a private message from me, you can see how to book that in the description box. There's a link there to my website where you can do all of the bookings and things. And just moving on forward onto the first row of your reading, uh, we, have, we have one aspect, if you will, of this warrior that's showing up as the hangman. And what I'm seeing here is that when this card first came out, it's like I heard the word captive, right? I heard the word captive. And let's just kind of go through everything. And then this nine of cups showed out. And what I'm seeing is captor, like the captive and the one who has done the capturing, right? And then this card came up here, this four of swords, and it was showing up as like the savior. It's very fascinating. And now we're ending off this one with your, it's like, I'm just kind of going through all of it. It's like, <laughs> it's like a guideline, if you will. And then at the end of the reading, we're showing, you're showing up here with the tower card, which is, which is talking about, um, like all of the different masks that a warrior wears, but then also this idea of being released 
it's like released from all of these different roles as well. Sorry. Okay. So just to begin, it's like there was, there was a story that was being told to me and that it's like the first stage of, of being a warrior, if you will, is to be the captive. And what this is showing up as is, you know, I, I have two hangmans in this deck and this particular hangman talks about the dream realm and this dream realm, what is, what it's referring to is like being a captive of the dream realm. So being in a space, maybe perhaps where your dreams are being held hostage, if you will. So that's what this is looking like. It's as if you and your dreams are being held hostage. And it's like, this is, this is presenting as the first stage, if you will, of being this Orion energy, of being this warrior energy. And so with it showing up as this first stage, what I'm actually seeing here, which is very fascinating, is that there's a part of this that is acting as a as like a voluntary hostage if, if you will volunteering on perhaps maybe the behalf of the dream or of the dream is referring to the idolized state of what orions if you feel if if you feel uh, of orions like if you will feel is like the height of civilization. That's what this is referring to. So it's like that is embodying the dream, right? So with you showing up here as the hangman, it's talking about you almost in a sense like sacrifice. It's talking about sacrifice, sacrificing yourself. It's a very, it's a very voluntary energy to move into this hangman because you know, he's actually the one that has strung himself up here. And and it is because the dream is actually what's holding you hostage. The dream of the height of civilization or the, the goodness or the moral code, if you will. Like whatever you have decided is your, kind of like the thing that you're fighting for, your purpose, if you will. That's what this, that's what this is presenting as the first stage. It's like you're presenting yourself as, it's kind of like martyrdom. So with this being the first stage of Orion's, if you will, what I'm sensing here is that there's actually a lot of kind of like self-imposed restrictions, but it's coming through as like for the good of humanity in general. It's like for the for the betterment of everyone else, for the betterment of society and civilization. And it's like so there's there's a sense of martyrdom, uh hostage, if you will, <laughs> being held captive and doing so voluntarily, almost as a sense of pride, kind of like um with the energy of willing to risk your life for you know, home and country, if you will. So that is like one aspect of this warrior. And when we move on to this nine of cups here, what I, what initially what I'm seeing is like, this is actually the captive, right? Or the one that has held this one hostage or is holding this one perhaps maybe like against their will and i'm saying that in quotations because it's actually this is presenting actually as a very voluntary position to put yourself in so it's not that you're you're it's not that the warrior energy is asking to be held captive but it's as if they're putting themselves in a situation where they would potentially be held captive and so that's what's showing up here as this nine nine of cups is that this is actually the captor so they're presenting of course as like yes i finally have gotten my wish my my wish has come true to hold this warrior in this 
in this place where they cannot actually enact any differences, if you will, on this one's said particular dream or wishes. So you can actually, you can start to see the polarity that's happening here. What I'm, it's so fascinating because it's like, what I witnessed here was that even this one as, this one is actually a warrior as well too. So it's kind of like they're fighting, if you will, for their own, for their own dream. It's like this one is holding the dream, but this one is also holding the dream too. So it's as if once these Orion energies move from this hangman, they then go into this nine, nine of cups, which is a more actually kind of like self-focused, whereas this was more focused on civilization, humanity, the collective as a whole. This is presenting more of, I'm going to fight for what's right for myself, right? And in doing so, it's actually acting as a captor of all of the ones who are fighting for this, for the dream of this society, if you will. So there's this interesting polarity and dynamic that happens within this warrior energy here. And that you, and the thing that I often say about polarity is that you actually have to experience, if you will, both sides of this polarity, both sides of this polarity, in order to decide actually where you want, you, where you yourself want to reside along this warrior um, sliding scale, if you will. And so that's actually what's showing up here as this, as this four of swords. It's like, you know, finally going, finally after these, after both of these stages, after, after seeing both sides of the polarity, going into this space where you yourself are finding out where you belong, where you belong as, as a warrior, what is your code? What is your decree? What do you live by? What do you, you see what I'm saying? So it's referring to, you know, she's holding the sword here and then like pressing it into this, this Lotus, which is talking about your, your crown chakra, right? It's like your awakening your own self through this entire process. It's almost as if you're, it's like a self initiation to, how do I explain that? To like place yourself in a particular space. And it's like, it's talking about a claiming, if you will, like claiming your code, your honor, decreeing that this is what I live by, this is what I stand, this is what, this is my code of honor, if you will. And so it's, it's as if this is actually like the final stage, the final stage of being a warrior. And the fascinating part here is that I actually called them the savior. So, and that's what this is looking like. It's looking as though this one here, the final stage is to, well, save this one from martyrdom and then also hold this one responsible or accountable. And so that's what's being discovered in this four of swords here. It's like even within your own self, saving yourself as, as a martyr, but then also holding yourself accountable for perhaps maybe the the deeds that were done when holding others hostage. And then presenting yourself as it's coming through, not as a rogue, but as, what do they call those? Like, I don't know what they call those. It's like one that doesn't actually have a banner that flies behind them. I'm trying to think of the word particular the particular word for it, but it's like it's like they work on their own. They're they're a solo solo warrior. They they're not fighting under any banner or or any 
right? Like any society or civilization or hu or sect of humanity. They're also not necessarily only self-focused. They're kind of like a savior energy. So it's like a mercenary. <laughs> there we go. Mercenary. That's what this is looking like. It's like you will fight for yourself, of course, but then you also do for others as well. And so that's why it's presenting as as like the savior. And with this final card being the tower, what I'm understanding here is that this, this tower is representing the illumination or the epiphany moment and realizing that you have to go in order to, it's very interesting. It's almost like in order to be the to be decreed an Orion warrior, you have to go through all of these stages. There's like three stages, and that's actually really fascinating because if you look at the star formation of Orion, there's actually three stars, right? So it's like going through the belt, going through the all three stages of being a warrior. And it's like this, this tower moment is the realization, perhaps maybe where you are in your, in your progression. And maybe that's actually why this eight of wands is coming up to you very fast because it's like, it's going to tell you where you will be headed in your next, in your next step. So that's what this tower is, is like realizing that you are actually to be considered that warrior, you have to embody, it's not just one, it's not just one thing, it's all three, you have to embody all three. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there, Orion, and if this reading resonated for you, you can follow the link to the, ex the description, <laughs> you can follow the link in the description box to the extended reading. And hopefully I'll see you there. Bye.